Do you smell what the Giants are cooking? Listen. Massive W's only, man. Listen, I took a break. You know what I'm saying? I went and watched some Hunter Hunter, bro. I was just chilling. Giants announced their first massive W of the day. We got the deal done with Leonard Williams. Three years, $63 million, an average of $21 million a year. Honestly, I'm very happy with that contract right there. $45 million guaranteed. I'm just really happy with the fact that we finally got it over with and we got space to move. And then like immediately after that, another W announced a one year, two and a half million dollar deal with John Ross, former first round pick of the Bengals, um, Cincinnati wide receiver coming over here. I'm really happy with that because it's a very cheap deal. Just one year, just two and a half mil. I think only $1 million is guaranteed. So basically a vet minimum. I'm not gonna call it a vet minimum though, but we get an outside depth receiver which is something I want to target in the draft as well. Yeah, I want my wide receiver at 11. I was also looking to get a wide receiver in the fourth or sixth round to basically be what John Ross is. So I'm happy with that. And then we get a third massive W. I found out via Pat Leonard on Twitter. Leonard Williams cap hit this year, guys, is only $11 million. We not only extended this man and locked him up basically for two years, because what it looks like is it's very similar in my opinion to what the deals we gave out last year to martinez and bradbury but we locked them up for three years on a reasonable contract i did want him below 20 but he's literally one mil above what my threshold would i'm not going to complain and then he's earning just 11 million this year and currently the giants are in positive cap space i don't quote me on this but i saw somewhere that we're currently sitting with 11 million dollars in cap space all right that's what my discord has been telling me so far, everything else that they told me has been true. So if we're sitting at $11 million a cap right now, that still leaves the door open for one Kenny Galladay or some other big name signing. We are sitting pretty. I told y'all in my last video, don't overreact. Giants fans are overreacting. I'm like, yo, chill out. There's still talent left on free agent on the free agent market, and there's still a lot of time left on the free agent market. Just two hours after that video dropped, locked up Williams, got a good depth receiver, and we cleared up a lot of cap space. I mean a lot of cap space. This is just massive W's all around, you know what I'm saying? This is a great job by the Giants right here. You give credit to who you want to give credit to. There's people that's going to give credit to Dave Gellman. There's people that's going to give credit to Joe Judge. There's people that's going to give credit to both of them. There's people that's going to give credit to Kevin Abrams as well, the guy that handles our contracts. I'm going to just say, good job, Giants. Keep it simple. Good job by the New York Giants, all right? I, I, love, I love the way it's going so far, man. In my opinion, it's going really well. But then there's still more to do like has the nate solar you know contract restructure kicked in yet as far as i know i haven't seen any information towards that uh, towards how much cap we're gonna free up from him alone like that's gonna be even more money to work with i mean we we still potentially are gonna sign you know a, a defensive piece you know we could still sign somebody like a calvin noy i'm just throwing out a name here but in terms of the position, like a number two linebacker, we could still go out and get one of those. We could still go out and get a number two corner. We could still go out and spend a lot of money on a wide receiver like Kenny Galladay. Right now, we're sitting pretty. And I told y'all Giants fans, have patience. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was talking to someone in the Discord. A couple of them DM me. They're like, yo, I, I just want to see moves happen. Moves happened. You just gotta wait. It's literally just the second day of free agency and we're sitting pretty here. I, I literally don't have anything else to say. I just wanna get a reaction video out quickly because this might be my last video of the day. Then at 9.30 tonight, of course, is the weekly call-in show. This is probably gonna be a really exciting episode for you guys to call in and talk to me. Um, A lot of stuff happened. I, I expect maybe a couple more moves to happen, but honestly, this might be it for today. We'll see. But we freed up cap space. We locked up Leonard Williams. This honestly does minimize a lot the loss of Dalvin Thompson because having Williams, Dexter Lawrence at the nose tackle, in my opinion, is where he's going to be best fit now. And then BJ Hill on the other side is going to be fine. You want to rotate BJ Hill with um, RJ McIntosh or you want to rotate him with Austin Johnson, that's fine as well. But the, that trio that I just listed, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. And Leo, man, your production better not slip. You, you better continue to perform like you did last year. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say and we're getting Lorenzo back healthy you know what I'm saying I'm not I'm not that excited for X-Man again but maybe the X-Man could come in and do something but I'm really excited to get Lorenzo Carter back healthy especially now that we got Jeremy Pruitt and Kevin Schurer on the coaching staff for the linebackers so I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to it currently our our wide receiving core it's uh Shep 
Ross, Slayton, and potentially Galladay. But if not Galladay, we're still going to get a 1 at 11 in my opinion. We're sitting pretty. Just massive W's by the Giants all around. That's all I got to say. Now that's it for now. Uh, I mean, if another things happen, if another signing happens within like the next five minutes or so, I won't be able to record it. But hey, man, let me know what you think. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.